More special guests here on Sports Talk now with Allison and Jason Greats with Little Sadie here. You guys are professional figure skaters for many years. You actually left uh, after university to go skate with Disney on Ice, isn't that right? I did. For a year, yeah. and that turned into maybe 11 more years of professional skating. I did. Tell us about your career a little bit. Um, well, uh, after I graduated, I went to South America for, I would say, a 10-month tour. Incredible travel opportunities, incredible skating opportunities, and I came back home and wasn't sure what to do, and then I went back to a States tour and I met my husband, so we stayed for a long time and traveled the world. It was amazing and uh, worked a little bit at the end of my career in Europe and did a few shows in Mexico and then came back here to open a hot yoga studio. That was my next question. Tell us yeah. about that. It's a very specific type of yoga, isn't it? It is. Uh, it's Moksha Yoga Kildonan is the name. And the style is Moksha Yoga. There's, well, I should know the number, but I would say roughly over 60 studios now in Canada. And it is a set series. It's accessible to beginners. Um, we just, we support our community as best we can. We support the environment as best we can, and we just try to create a little more peace in the world. And you think there's a direct link between figure skating and yoga? Do you think figure skaters should be doing yoga? I think everybody should be doing <laughs> yoga. <laughs> That's everybody. Good That's good yeah. advice. No, it's, you know what? It's helpful. People sleep better. They feel better. Um, it just, it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing that we've been so blessed to do. Absolutely. Speaking of your husband, he's right here, Jason. You've involved comedy in your career quite a bit. Tell us about some of the characters you've had at some of your shows. Uh, well, I've done uh, lots of touring shows with storylines where there's always a funny character here or there that, yeah, that I've uh, been fortunate enough to play. And then um, some of the gala shows that I do now, um, I'll do, uh, I create my own numbers and my own characters. And, um, and I usually uh, I just enjoy being like kind of the, the comedy relief in a show and uh, it's fun to make people smile and laugh. And, You've you shown Sadie some of your characters, I'm guessing? Well, this is my next comedian, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe you can be part of my skating number one day, do you think? Yeah. You think yeah? You'd consider that? Do you like watching Daddy skate uh -huh. in his numbers? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite number that I do? Opperman? There's just yeah. so many. There's just... <laughs> <laughs> She's speechless. Well, why don't we show some of the uh, moves you guys have here on this beautiful backyard rink. How about that? As host of the 2016 Yonix Senior National Badminton Championship, the Winnipeg Winter Club is giving Manitobans a great opportunity to see Olympic caliber play. We actually do have a strong badminton community. We have a really strong history of putting on really good events. Uh, athletes like to come to Winnipeg, like to come to our nationals. Yep. So, and, and it is important for building the badminton community and, and letting people come out and see about our sport because often people don't, um, don't know much about badminton or they think it happens in a backyard. We see it here in our own internal programming. We've seen our badminton program grow uh, exponentially over the last few years and you know this an awareness situation of you know, having a national tournament, um, it's, it's only going to enhance and increase the awareness of badminton and that's, that's what it's all about, growing the sport and it's, it's a great sport for everybody to play. It's a lifelong sport. The tournament has Manitobans in the stands and also on the court. Manitoba kind of has a, a good legacy, but at the same time, I'm from Steinbeck, it's a small town. I have kind of the underdog mentality. I love Winnipeg, so always happy to represent my city and represent my province whenever we go away. So when I was 15 years old, I um, ended up kind of losing a final that was really, really tough. And I came off court kind of in tears and I told my dad, I said, I'm going to do this for a living someday. And that's the type of will and determination the sport demands. It's a full-time job through and through. Fitness is a huge part of it. I spend uh, probably 20 hours in the gym every week. Um, and then a lot of on-court, working on technical things, tactical things, 
um, even watching videos online. I always enjoy it. Like sometimes there's moments that aren't fun. You'll have moments where the training is pretty frustrating and you don't actually feel like you get a lot out of it or something's not working your way. But always at the end of the day, I'm glad that I'm involved with the sport. It's an unbelievable sport to come watch it live. Uh, you don't you don't appreciate how fast everything is, how fast the athletes are, how fast the, the birds moving. It, uh, it's pretty cool to watch it live. They're hitting the bird at the fastest speed of any sporting object. Uh, and so how can that not be exciting? Another big name on hand is Canadian Michelle Lee. Michelle is one of the top women's singles players in the world. She has beaten almost every female player ranked ahead of her, including winning gold at the 2015 Pan Am Games in Toronto. And a year before that, she won gold at the 2014 Commonwealth Games, the first Canadian woman to do so. I really like the challenge because with badminton, it's, uh, it's very different from a lot of other sports because there's just so many aspects to it. It's not just because you're stronger doesn't mean you'll, you'll be better at it. Like, even if you're faster, it doesn't mean you're better at it. You gotta have speed, you gotta have agility, you gotta have power, you gotta have, it's also like a tactical game and also like a mental game. So that's what I really like about badminton. You know, during each episode of Sports Talk, we usually declare the local athlete of the week. But this week, there is no contest. Look at these two go. Once again, that's Emma and Joseph Thompson. Thank you so much to their dad, Dwayne, the creator of this gorgeous backyard ice rink, for having us over today for the show. We want to thank Dave Barkley as well. He put together the rink right on the river. So much fun. But for now, that's it. That's all. That's everything. We'll see you next time.